What's up guys and welcome back to another Age of Conflict video where today we have <laughs> Okay, the map broke for a bit, but anyway Today we have a bit of a native showdown with a bunch of cultures that I found on Wikipedia um, culture map mode We have Arctic natives, subarctic, the northwest coast, the plateau, Great Basin, apparently California is a culture, the plains, the southwest, the Mesoamerican, the Caribbean, southeast, and northeast. We are here in Ages of Conflict, and we're just going to go ahead and get things started. This, there will be no revolts, and we are going to go until one remains. So already we got northeast and subarctic. Gonna have size up here because you know our first war Great Basin versus Southwest and Plateau versus Northwest Coast. Mesoamerican and Southwest made an alliance that's gonna keep them in check for a while. Arctic and Plains, and I think Plains is in a two way war with Subarctic and the Northeast. California and the Northwest Coast have made an alliance. The Caribbean is going after Southeast. And Plateau and Great Plain, Great Basin are going in again. We are seeing a huge coalition go in after the plains Northeast and Subarctic, taking a lot of land there. Southwest is now going in after the unprepared Great Basin. These two have an alliance, and yeah, Northwest Coast in California going in after the Plateau. Caribbean and Southeast going in at it once again. Now Mesoamerica is going to help out Southeast. Great Basin is not looking good, neither is Plateau. Plateau's dead. Plateau is the first one to be eliminated by the Northwest Coast. And now... Looks like the Caribbean is the next one to go. Yeah, they're done. Subarctic was destroyed by Arctic. I wasn't even looking up there. Plains is not looking good. Northeast is now not looking good either. Great Basin, Mike. Great Basin has to watch out. They're in a very dangerous position here. Plains is not looking all hot. Is Northeast dead already? That's a big one to lose right now. Plains and Southwest have pieced out. Great Basin. Oh, Great Basin. Oh my lord, Great Basin on seven. They only have seven tiles there. Uh, Northeast is now taking revenge on Southeast. Got to push in a lot, but now they're done. Plains in California. Great Basin. No, no way they live any longer. And Southeast gone as well. Feel really confident in Arctic's chance right now. Yeah, going in with the help of Plains after Northeast, but now Southwest is going to help out in Northeast by going after the Plains. Are we going to see the Plains Indians die? The Plains Natives, yeah, we are. We're already down a half of our starting cultures. They aren't tribes, they're cultures. I tried to do a tribal one, but I couldn't find a good map. Now we have Southwest Antarctic versus Northwest Coast and California. And it is just a disaster for the West. Okay, down goes Northwest Coast and California is done soon. We're already down to four. Looks like we're going to be down to three here almost immediately after. Thought this would go a little longer. Maybe, 
maybe we'll do something else with this, with this idea. Now it's looking like Southwest is going to have some issue pushing in on Mesoamerica. Meanwhile, Northeast is just losing everything against the Arctic and Southeast. Southwest. We have some big peace deals now. And there they go again. Mesoamerican going in, though. We can speed things up a lot more. They're down already. Okay, we're we're already down to three. Arctic and Southwest, they're trying to be in alliance. Okay, and we're in the last two. So this one's obviously going to take a long time to resolve. If they can connect this, like here. Oh, that is so much red. This is... Disgusting. There is a lot of ground these two have to move through, though. Dull oh, Southwest is really doing well with these peace deals, though. They're just barging in, making a bunch of connecting territories. Again, another huge one, another like 2,000 peace deal. They're just, they're going straight in. That was a super important peace deal for the Arctic to get good things from. Because if they didn't, well, they would have had stuff right here. It's now looking even. Well, the thing is, I think... Pretty sure Southwest has less tiles to go before they reach the Arctic capital. Compared to how far the Arctic has to go. Oh, but with these PC... Oh, they, they just... No... That was a great peace deal for the Arctic. We need to, yeah, push back into these territories here. That's good. We got some nice encirclements there. Oh, there are no divisions anywhere on the Arctic. There still aren't many divisions in the Arctic. There's, uh, this is going to be a weird peace deal. They're getting super close to the southwest capital now. Good peace and good deal in the Southwest. Yeah, they've been fighting back and forth for like 500 years. Ooh, good. We got huge encirclements from the Southwest. That even the game. We can get another one right there if they hurry up. That's another big encirclement. So, the Southwest really needs to focus on, well, the West. Because... 
They don't have that far to go over. Because the Arctic, if they went down, they have a lot of way to go over. That was good. That's a good peace deal to get. We They need to keep this territory right here. Who cares if they're losing Michigan, if they keep Cascadia? They need, no, they need to keep that. They need to. Okay. We're, we're getting close to an end here. Oh, horrible, horrible encirclements from, for the southwestern nation. Another disaster. And it's all coming down to this. And they do it. You know what, that was... Eh, that was 11 minutes, but... Yeah, that's something a little bit in store for you. And we're back for the second part here. We're going to see if we take it onto a world map. If we can have the natives band together and defeat Europe. Europe is placed here because I believe Brussels, I'm pretty sure Brussels is the headquarters of the EU. And that's where we're doing it there. Oh, I forgot to name these two. So we have Indonesian natives, Tibetan natives, because I needed something in Asia. I believe there were natives in Australia. Some, like, I don't think Polynesians count. Not sure. We have Andes natives, Mesoamerican, Plains, and Arctic. We aren't going to allow our volts because, again, I just kind of want to see an end to this. So what are we going to get first, guys? Oh, yeah, and Sahara and Congo natives, because I couldn't think of anything. Anyway, we have a team up against the Sahara with Congo and the Sahara. We only have 10 nations, so we can kind of keep this up the whole time. Europe has met the Arctic, and the Sahara is trying to go in after Europe once again. Yeah, tackling Tibet is going to be good. We have Australia going after Indonesia, with Indonesia and Sahara going after Tibet. Andes and Mesoamerica have formed an alliance. And it looks like the planes are going to be the first ones to die. And there goes their alliance, Europe and planes. Now Arctic is in a good position. Arctic, Australia, and the Andes are all in great positions to win. The Congo going in after Tibet, with Tibet and Sahara going after Europe. And now the Andes are going in after Sahara as well. But, could Indonesia ruin everything for Tibet? They're just barging straight into that territory there. They're, they're going to take the capital, too. Down goes Tibet. We have a few nations going after the Congo and Mesoamerica versus the Andes. Now we have Arctic versus Europe. Indonesia and the Sahara have now they've now joined the con the coalition against Europe. Andes versus the Sahara. That's not one that I was expecting to say. Mesoamerica versus the Arctic. And again, Europe versus Indonesia and Sahara, with Indonesia also going after Australia. And Zaire has gotten the kill on the evil Europeans. <laughs> 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 
down goes the Congo as well. And looks like Australia's next. There goes Australia. They got five left here. Sahara and Mesoamerica teaming up against the Andes. It's kind of an Incan empire, and Mesoamerica is kind of Aztec. So, Arctic is Inuit, I guess. It's going to be Indonesia. Indonesia is the one that's going to have to be the big bad now. Because they can just move across here, whereas Sahara has to worry about this side as well. Sahara, if you can get a good, yeah, good first strike, but now, where are your lines, man? Where's your, where's your front line here, dude? The Arctic versus the Andes is, would be a horrible front to move through just such little territory. Indonesia has landed in Africa. Uh, it's gotta be it. Sahara's done. Doesn't matter if they take out the Andes right now. They're dead. I mean, yeah, I guess there were four over there, but there were three over here. And three here. Now Indonesia has a huge monopoly of land. It's going to be next. Mesoamerica, Indonesia, and the Arctic teaming up. That's going to be good for the Arctic. That pretty much means they got second place. And Indonesia's landed in South America now, too. Mesoamerica is surrounded by the Arctic. The Arctic is making huge pushes into Mesoamerica land. Down to 60, 70, about there. Looks like they're just trying to take down, yeah, there goes the Andes. Arctic and Indonesia. If the Arctic kept pushing up here, they might have been able to win. It's not looking like it, but congrats on everyone because they did manage to outlast the Europeans. Looks like in a shocking twist, Mesoamerica is going to outlast the Arctic. But then there's <laughs> there's no way they get they actually get to win. There goes the alliance, and here goes the steamroll. And there they go. So Indonesia has taken this one and beaten back the Europeans. So you know what, guys? With that being said, I hope you all enjoy. And of course, have a good day.